Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm going to be showing you what Botox actually looks like in real life in HD. Now, I mentioned in a previous video, I think, that I was going to film this procedure, and I absolutely will. What I didn't do this time, unfortunately, is film it due to the fact that um, I totally forgot about it, and I hadn't got permission from the uh, dermatologist to bring my camera in, but I have now got permission, so next time I do have it, I will absolutely film it so you can see kind of what it looks like and all the rest. But, Botox, this is what it looks like in real life on me. Now, I had Botox three weeks ago, so it is in its full effect now. And I have had Botox since the age of 27, originally to treat um, migraines that I was having. And uh, as far as migraines go, it absolutely made a massive impact on that. I no longer get them. I still get headaches, but not migraines the way that I did, which is an absolutely beautiful thing because they were horrific. Um, also, before I sort of do all the nonsense, let me just say that this is in no way saying you should have Botox. You have free will, just like me. I just want to be honest and show you what it looks like because I take incredibly good care of my skin. I use an SPF of 30 or 50 every single day. I use retinol products. I use exfoliants. I use all the things that are really good for the skin, including, and I cannot stress this enough, sunscreen. I wear huge amounts of sunscreen. But all those ingredients, as wonderful as they are, cannot give you the same results as um, things that you can do at the dermatologist's office like Botox, laser, fillers. All those things are totally different from skincare. And while skincare can do beautiful things, it cannot do what a dermatologist can do. So this is what Botox looks like. So if I try and raise my eyebrows for you, that's as high as they go at this moment. And if I frown, pretty much all that happens is my nostrils just sort of go in. And when you smile, what tends to happen, and this, is, this kind of goes both ways depending on where you have it, because Botox can be done across the forehead, the frown, and around the sort of this area here. Now the, now, the skin has to move and it has to go somewhere. Some people like me, when they smile, instead of creasing around here, they crease underneath the eyes. Other people get what's called bunny lines where they crease right here in the center. So the skin has to go somewhere. You would, it is the rare exception where it, you know, it just magically disappears. Skin has to move, so it will tend to go in either there or there. For me, it's here. For other people, it can be there. Now, there are other areas you can get Botox that I have never tried. Some people can inject it slightly lower down, and you can also inject it right here, which will give a tighter jawline. I have had no experience with that, so I cannot say. The one thing that happens to me almost always when I have Botox, because I used to have it every three months, now I tend to get it every, probably every six to nine months, more sort of going on to the side of nine months. And originally I wasn't going to have it done again because I wasn't that worried about it. But the headaches were increasing in frequency and that is a warning sign to me. So, this is what it looks like. It, to me, it's absolutely fine. I've never had somebody go immediately on my channel, you've had Botox. But it depends on how you get it. You can have Botox where you have much more movement so you have a really natural effect. Or you can also have it done so that there is absolutely no effect. The one thing I will say that I get absolutely and I have seen on the majority of people that have had it done is what I call the glass effect, which is this area here tends to look like a sheet of glass. And even when it's really matte, there's still this kind of sheen to it. I don't really know why that is, but it just tends to be the case. It happens to me all the time. There is just this kind of sheen to the forehead, even when it's matte, matte, matte. Don't quite know why, but that's just the way it is. So there you go, this is what it looks like. Again, for those of you who are gonna be writing, you know, I'm endorsing this, I am not. Botox, fillers, lasers, they all carry risks, absolutely. And I make a conscious decision to weigh up the pros and cons of something before I go and have it done. And I've been incredibly honest. I have had IPL, which is intense pulse light that gets rid of broken thread veins. I had the YAG laser for broken thread veins, which I would never do again. And, and the link's in the description, but it was not for me, absolutely. It was just horrible. Um, I've tried CO2 laser. Um, Everybody raves that CO2 laser is so good, but I really noticed barely any difference. So that really isn't for me. Sure, when other things come out, if they interest me, I will absolutely go and do it. 
I'm not chasing a fountain of youth, of youth. This was originally done for the treatment of headaches, but I do want to look the very best that I can look. And for me, that involves amazing skincare, um, protecting my skin, using, um, I quite like to have this kind of tanned appearance. So I use like fake tans. This one is, um, I actually don't know what this one is. Yeah, it's a good one. Like it very much. So there you go, that's it. That's it. This is what it looks like. Beware. However, one thing I will say, and absolutely will say, um, I have seen somebody with drop brow before, which is where the Botox can kind of gives a slightly effect to the eyelid. I've never had it, but I have had somebody, I do know somebody that's had it. And the one thing I will say, which I totally forgot to mention, I'm so sorry for going on, um, every single time I've had Botox, every single time, I always have what's called a Spock brow. It's easily corrected, but the first sort of week, this eyebrow will do this. So when I try and raise my eyebrows, only one tends to move and it goes, whoop. It's very, very strange, but it's easily corrected. They just put a drop more in and it stops immediately. But I always, always have that happen. No matter what I do, it always happens. First week, I'm like, very strange. There you go. This is what Botox looks like in real life. It's not an endorsement. I just want to show you, to be honest, because somebody will say, what cream do you use? And I'll tell them, and, and then you would just assume that, you know, it would give this kind of look, and it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't, but it can do wonderful things, skincare. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I've gone. Bye-bye.